pop 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 Ian Haley Pollock. I'm going to start off with a poem by Lucille Clifton. If something should happen. If something should happen. For instance, if the sea should break and crash against the decks and below decks break the cargo against the sides of the sea, or if chains should break and crash against the decks and below decks break the sides of the sea, or if the seas of cities should crash against each other and break the chains and break the walls holding down the cargo and break the sides of the seas and all the waters of the earth wash together in a rush of breaking. Where will the captains run and to what harbor? I wanted to read uh, a Lucille Clifton poem because I don't know if I've ever properly publicly recognized how important uh, she's been to me as a poet. When I was studying uh, at Syracuse University, she was one of the readers that the, the MFA program brought to campus. And we got to talking after a reading, and she recommended that um, I apply to Cave Canem. And that experience was very formative to me as a, as a poet. And beyond that, the example of her work has been very important to me. I, uh, I've fallen in love with the short poem, um, distilling language down to sort of the bare bones, to, to capture that experience in, in as few words as possible. Um, and you know, I don't know if I've, I've ever expressed it as, as well as I should have, but I, I miss her dearly. And I think it's a, a great loss for, for American letters that, that she's not with us in, in body, although she's obviously still with us in, in spirit and in, and in poetry. Uh, my poem is Chorus of X, The Rescuer's Mark. Chorus of X, the rescuer's mark. X say search party, say month, say day. X say live wire, say gas leak, say flood water. Say dead dog, dead cat. X say no dead bodies. Say one dead body, say two, say three dead bodies, say four. X say kitchen, say bedroom, say attic. Say the family Bible floated next to me five days before the waters carried it off. X say, that dog was a loud-ass, mean-ass bitch anyway. Say, rain and wind on the roof was like every song I ever heard. The slow and angry, the Sunday ones and off-tune, pretty ones and ones that whined like a porch door hanging on busted hinges. Played all together on harp, on fiddle, tuba, trumpet, on banjo, on every instrument man saw fit to make. X say, Lord, you've been flooding us too much. Say, most of the family moved north and west got tired of humidity and high water, called when they could. Say, if you loot this, you only steal them from nature, and that bitch always take back what hers. X say, it got easier to die in water than live on land. Say, you missed me buried under plaster and paint shreds and wall stud and door and shingle and pictures of my grandbabies. Say, we hear and you never be rid of us. Say, my worst sins were pride and white lies I recited every morning like mama's daily prayers. X say, lungs full of flood in the end took me higher than liquor ever did. Say, black water loved me more than my daddy ever did. Say, pestilence, say, quarantine, say, lamb's blood, say, slave ship, say, witch trials, say, the Washita River ran cold and the Cheyenne were still sleeping. Say, the monk doused himself in gasoline. Say, God, say, man, say, not all of us are saved. Tell about a time you dropped everything to write a poem. Where were you and what would you be like if you hadn't done it? Uh, when I first became deeply interested in, in writing poems, I was living in Boston. Um, I was living in Davis Square, which I guess is actually in Somerville, and commuting out to, to the far suburbs on, on 95, which is some of the worst traffic uh, in America, I would imagine. One day on the way to work, had what I thought was a genius idea for a poem. You know, it was, it was in my life pre-cell phone days. I didn't have any way of, of getting it down. I happened to have paper and pen in my bag. So this is obviously very dangerous. I was writing a poem on the steering wheel as I'm going down 95, stop and start traffic. Sometimes you're going 75, and suddenly it, it 
slows down to 20. And I'm scribbling, trying to get the pen to actually write on like the rubber of the, of the steering wheel. Um, obviously not something I would advise doing now that I have a son and a family, but uh, it needed to be done at the time. The joke is, is that the poem is really terrible. I, I've heard Ed Hirsch use the word toy poems, and it was definitely a toy poem, but at the time I, I felt as though it, it had to happen. Um, and so I pulled uh, an extreme measure. Pop. <laughs>